Okay, we have this board here, and I want to show you something that we can use to make it easy for us or shortcut the time. So let's see. Let's see that we have this network here, and I'm just going to make another one. I'm going to insert an edge here. Let me draw another one. Okay. Now I need to select all of these like this. going to head chamfer now I can adjust the chamfer for all of this edges like this and hit OK now I'm going to insert a loop inside each one okay now I just need to select this one Middle guy here, get a constraint move, move a little at the bottom, just to be a more circular. And I need to take all of these edges and crease them, maybe 44 creasing. Now if I just selected all of these lines and I need to bevel inside or move it inside, it's just moving to exact origin for all, which you're gonna see it's good at the top but ruined on the bottom. So how we can fix this? Oops, I get I get the, the wrong guy here. Once it's just scale now, now it's using each origin for all of the edges. Now let's see the final results. You can take this one and draw some line here to close this mesh. And the soft selection could help. And we can bevel this edge and bevel. Crease and bevel again. Okay, now you have this nice creasing and this nice body. I can make it a thickness. Let's do a thickness to it by going to the mass tools and do the thickness. This is two millimeters. I think the board is too small. Let's just scale it. Unify the mirror. and scale okay this part now is
now with 300 millimeters on the X and 100 millimeters on the Y 283 on the Z let's go to the sec seconds again and I need it to be okay Twenty millimeters is good. And I can convert. Pretty nice. And it's all solid. We can sketch here, make just four circles. Let me just insert center line. to mirror it circle with this line and this two with this line and mirror now go to future extrude cut through all both let's add a material still can go back and do any modification I want it you can even subdivide more if you're just happy with its results to have ability inserting more edges so for example I'm going to insert a circle here with the bar surfacing Reset, bevel, reset again, bevel, rotate. Flat it, crease, bevel, and you got this. Let's convert it quickly and it's going to do an update to what we did. We have a warning here, it's because of the sketch. The warning is here, so this delete this constant. And now everything looks okay. And because if we just did drawn this circle on the thickness, it's created more thickness here. So now it's just like it's extruded. It's not empty from inside. And we have a nice fillet here. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.